Today we're going to compare a couple of lasers. The hypnotic RGB and the micro hypnotic. A lot of people have asked me to do this in the last couple of weeks, so here it is. Now there are some obvious differences that we're going to look at here in a minute. But first of all, the difference that everybody is talking about. The micro hypnotic is about 120 bucks. The hypnotic RGB is about 600 bucks. So what's the difference? Take a look. We have an obvious size difference here. Of course, the hypnotic RGB and the micro hypnotic. The micro hypnotic is eh, about four and three quarter inches deep. It's like about two inches high and four inches wide where the hypnotic RGB is roughly, it's like eh, 10, 10 and a half inches deep maybe about eight and three quarter inches wide and four and a half inches tall. As far as the function of these lasers go, they're similar in a lot of ways. You have power on off switches on both of them. You have built in microphones for sound active and you also have power in. It's AC here and DC here. That's about where the similarities end. On the RGB, you've got the UC3 remote input. You also have the LCD function panel. You can make it do different things. And DMX in and out. On the micro hypnotic, you end up with an auto sound button and a slow fast dial. And that's about it on the back of that unit. But you do get this remote control that allows you to do a lot of things. You can do blackout, switch between auto and sound. You can go through the laser colors, different patterns, and change the direction of the gobo. Now, yes, you can run DMX on this. And if you're a DMX person, you like to run lots of lights in the DMX chain and program shows, maybe you want to use this. But if you're like me and you're kind of a sound active guy, the UC3 does a fine job. It's going to do basically the same thing or a similar thing as this remote's going to do. So when it comes to that kind of functionality, they're pretty similar. They're just approached in different ways. All right, here we have both lasers on a tripod and T-bar shooting up at the ceiling at roughly the same angle. So when we pan up, should be a pretty fair side by side. On the left, we have the hypnotic RGB. On the right, we have the micro hypnotic. First of all, the hypnotic RGB seems to have a wider beam angle. It's spreading out a lot more. And of course, it has red, green, and blue lasers where the micro hypnotic only has red and green. The sharpness of the hypnotic RGBW is a lot better than what's going on on the micro hypnotic. So what would I do? Well, I've used both of them and I really like the micro to be honest with you. It's a lot less money, it's compact, and I can run it with multiple effects. Having said that, if I were only going to run one projection effect in the room, I think I might go with this because it's beautiful. But when you're doing several different projection effects, I'm running the atmospheric RG, which I love. It's kind of like one of these with a blue H2O on it, which is a neat look. But it's all personal preference, folks. But those are the differences. I hope I cleared that up for some of you. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned for more videos. Practice and enjoy.